Alright, let's do a little how to plow a freehold <sighs> video. I have to apologize right now for the view, it's just the way my phone's held in the holder. But uh, it's pretty simple when you're doing a place like this. There's a lot of curves and weirdness. Hopefully, I can take it all the way to the end. We'll see when we get to the corner. There's, there's cars that like to park in front of this one pile here. It's technically there's parking, so there's nothing I can do about it. But the best way to go about it when you got about four inches or so is to start at the middle first. Do your first pass right down the middle. Especially when you got a, a plow like mine uh, with wings on it, like an XLS, a wide out, a Boss EXT. There's a new verse of them, but it allows you to put a nice windrow on each side. Yeah, there's cars in the way. Right? On the one side, anyways. Um, Which allows you to carry a little more snow. Plus, it keeps you from making a big mess. If you start at the curb, what happens is you have nowhere for the snow to go. When you're trying to peel it away from the curb, so then the snow doesn't peel away from the curb. It all ends up on the curb and at the end of people's little driveways. A little crop here like this, which is uh, it's a big no-no. So you do want to start. We'll pass down the middle, give yourself somewhere to take the snow. And then just kind of work your way. Oh, not too far to the side. I'll just turn my lights on so I can see better. Oh, see? Even season pros make stupid mistakes. Um, so, yeah, you don't want to start right at the edge or you got nowhere to pull it to. So you can't get a good clean curve. Then it helps with this style of plow too because of the angle of the wing when you're going down a curb. Uh, does a really good job of peeling the snow away from the curb rather than kind of building up and letting it spew over. But yeah, so you start in the middle. We're gonna just make a few passes in. Just work your way in. I like to place the face of the big jog here. I like to come up, push it up, and then start bringing it down. I kind of keep my plow angled a little bit. It's hard to see when my plow is angled to the left a little bit. So what I'm doing is called dog legging. So my, my plow is in scoop, but I have an angle as well which you can do with an XLS, like a wide out, they a wing plow, like a tractors, like a metal plus or whatever. What that allows you to do is carry a bunch of snow to the pile while still windrowing the snow away from an object. It's got to be one of the handiest things on earth. So, do that and you just work your way over. Work your way over one big plow full at a time. Uh, this place, if I'm cheating, like I, I'm in a rush, I'm not in a rush tonight, it's a pretty early in the night out right now. It's only like 9 o'clock, so I should have done everything by about 8, 9 in the morning. It's about 12 hours to run our whole route, which is what you'd expect when you, you do a whole bunch of commercial and residential. I tend to leave the residential. This is considered commercial, multi-res, but I tend to leave the residential in the morning until after the city's been through and you can just tidy it up and go. It's not very deep, but... You see how I didn't leave a big windrow there in front of behind those cars by dog legging? So, what I'll do is back out here, try to get the whole apron. I want to just push straight in, leave a square. Driveways aren't square at the end, they have an apron. Now, this place, because of this hard right turn here, what I'll do is I'll come up this apron and I'll drop the snow there. So I try to turn the corner and screw it around and drop it there. And then when I come in on the other side, I can just run straight down and I'll pick that snow back up as I go and uh, carry it down. So there's my apron, nice and clean. And when I come back up, pick that snow back up. Now I'm uh, angled the other way as I'm trying not to bury the back of the cars to my left. 
carry the snow around. Well, here's saying though, when I'm when I'm cheating, so that pile there is in this big window along here. If I'm in a rush, I won't uh, take all the snow around to the end here, or if there's cars here, and I can't take it all here. Um, what I'll do is I'll do a short plow or a cheat plow, and I will uh, wing it all along the the curb there and into that pile there and saves me carrying a lot more here. There's just a lot of cars in the lot for once, which is weird for this place. Usually every spot's almost full except for one or two. Normally I have to come back in the afternoon. It's something we do with uh, condos like this or commercials where people park at night and in the day as we'll come back during the day as well. Apartment buildings, that kind of thing. And, uh, Get as many get all the spots that were full at night will generally be open now because everyone will park in the plowed stuff. And you can then go along and clean that up too. So let's so go a little slow here because talking and backing out onto the street. One of those guys who can't chew both gum and walk. So now what I want to do here is I want to get this curb looking good, so I'll open my right wing up. Start to follow the curb. Well, it's a little bit deep yet, I think, to get it right to the curb. So I'll stay about six inches off the curb, and you'll see a little bit of a windrow up here. But when I come back down that in a minute, it'll pull all the snow away from it. And here I'll switch to a dog leg again, so I can take it around here. Excuse me. And I'll have to run it right down and to the back there again. Snow in here, or drifts on the left side. It's pretty normal for this property. I'd be careful too, that pile's starting to get to that fence. And as you can see to the left there, the fence has already been damaged. It wasn't by me. For some reason, first snowstorm we had this season, some other guy showed up and plowed this place. It wasn't contracting, he just showed up and just made a huge fucking mess. And then left. One of the things he did was that. He got it on camera, I don't know who it was. It just, Lives here. You probably have the wrong address. They're supposed to be across the street. There's another place like this across the road. And it happens usually first snowstorm. Some guys screw up and they get a phone call. Why haven't you been here yet? And so no. Realize, oh shit, I did the wrong place. I've seen it more than once. I've done it once myself too. So it does happen. A whole bunch of idiots. No, we're just people. We're people like everybody else. Most people like to think we're. Infallible, it's actually not the case. Oh, it's a little too far left. I picked up the curb and saw it there. So, yeah, I uh, run down the curb. You don't want to like smash the plow into the curb, you just want to lightly touch it. There's a bit of a crack in it there, you can tell because the plow kind of bounced on the crack. No. Side, nice and the middle. Bring it down. When I go back up there, you should be able to see that the curb's nice and clean, with minimal snow wind road out for the end of people's driveways. It'll be a little bit just because it is pretty deep today, so like the plows aren't going to peel it all the way. There's about six inches or so there, so it's not going to peel it all the way. But it will sure you should try. Start pushing some of the snow onto that old pile to the left there too. Just fucking buried that one. This is where we gotta fix the fence in the spring, so I'm not too worried about fucking up another panel on it because I'm already being paid to come in and pull two posts and do some work to it anyways. So if you look carefully, you should be able to see the curb now. Just barely because some snow fell back down on there and it's pretty deep. But you can see the curb. Very little windrow left behind at the end of the people's driveways there. Like a negligible amount of snow. Which is uh, which is my goal. I mean they are paying me to be here. My goal isn't to make them shovel more than they have to. Just generally to make them shovel less than they have to. So I'm not the city. 
they can get away with that shit. I can't. <laughs> Except for on one property, I'm contracted to do a, essentially a city street. It's, uh, it's an Otis Tomb Road. That one, I get to plow like the city. It's the first one I've ever had like that, where I get to just wing it like the city to the side. And I have to say, it's kind of easy. I feel lazy doing it. Just wing it all down the across people's driveways. I, I literally, it makes me feel lazy. It does. I'm just so used to doing a print proper, nothing left in anybody's way job. So it, uh, yeah. You can see is uh, I'm working from one end to the other. It's not too heavy. If, if it was a heavy wet snow or um, it was a lot deeper, you'd actually start near the pile and kind of work your way backwards, or you'd set up a push lane, as it's called, down the middle of this place. So you do a pass down the middle that builds up a big ass windrow on each side of you, so that later on you can pull some a uh, blade of snow into that pile into that push lane and then come back and uh, push snow down. It allows you to carry more snow. It essentially makes wings on either side of, the, of your wings by building a push lane. Some of the guys are on straight blades. They have the other names for it. Um, that's essentially what guys with a straight blade would do here is they'd uh, build a push lane and then they'd pull some snow out until they had like a blade fall and then run it down that push lane and keep doing that until they got to the end. That's the beauty of, a, of an XLS like this. It's, you don't do the shenanigans unless it's deep or pain in the ass kind of day, kind of snow. Because you can just grab the whole blade full and run it down. Nice on places like this to have a plow like this. I couldn't imagine doing this place in the street. Right? Sorry, phone call. One of the sidewalk crews is kind of a little confused. This seems to be the case. This is why they're off on the sidewalk, it's not on a plow. It's sidewalk guys get really confused really easily. I don't understand it. One of them things. So. Yeah, like I was saying, though, I couldn't imagine doing this place in the street plate. It would just be the most brutally annoying thing. Back and forth and back and forth. Chasing windrows forever. Even with the amount of snow that's here on this plot, it's taking me a little while. Probably up to about 10 minutes now. Just to be about 15 to 20 to do the whole place. It starts going pretty quick once you get down the chasing windows. Like up here, I pretty much got this to that uh, Chevy cleaned up, I think. Maybe a little bit more than that. Yeah, it's Let's go to the first bed and done. There, nice and clean. Tip of it. Bring this around. I'm gonna grab some of this snow here because I don't want the full blade. Peel a little bit off of this when you roll. It's amazing how quickly you suddenly start jumping forward as you get down to just chasing a few windrows. A little one on the left here, just a tiny one. And then that's it from up here. So we'll tidy this guy up, probably run the curve a little better. Drop it so that I can uh, wing the other side down. Peel this curve 
curb up, nice and, nice and pretty and spectacular. It's still snowing a little bit. I'm supposed to stop, I know. There's nothing on the radar either, which is amazing. This is a lot. It's a result. Trying to keep their spots available down here. They are going to have to pay for off uh, site locate here soon because uh, they have all those spots down there are assigned. And they don't give us anywhere to put snow on this property. They don't like to pay for relocates either, but I mean, if you don't want to give us somewhere to put it, then you don't want to pay to have it put taken off the properties so I mean you, know, just, you gotta do one or the other like it's, it's not magic it doesn't it doesn't melt under the plow you just push it somewhere else right so, try to keep as available as you can but you can't always another property that they refuse to pay it's only like 400 bucks now but it's going be located on site they refuse to pay it and now they got a couple Residents who literally aren't going to be able to get out of their driveway after the storm. Like, I, I literally mean, like, when I plow after I plow this time, they aren't going to be able to get out of their driveways. The ones on the end of the piles. They're going to be, they're already freaking out about it. And I had to tell them I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do, man. All I can do is push the snow to where the snow's supposed to go, and the board doesn't want to pay to deal with it from there. I Like, what do you want me to do about it? between you and your board it's on me so I gave them the option I gave them the solution and they refused to cough up the four hundred dollars to cover it so it's a lot of money so for like a 40 unit place or everybody's paying for five hundred a month for fucking condo fees it's not a lot of money Search of the imagination. So, what can you do? Some people are how they are. Step over dollars to save pennies, as I like to say. So, getting down to the end here. Pull this snow away from the back of that car now. that windrow in and back a bit it's just kind of the best option at this point give that curb shot all the way along here that one is kind of where we stuff snow so there's a couple drains along there too which is handy so I don't end up dealing with that runoff so you don't want to push that snow to a high side of the laneway you want to always try to put it to the low side because you don't want to have to deal with uh, runoff snow. I mean, runoff uh, ice every goddamn night. Because if you push snow to the high side of the laneway, like if I were to push it to the left side, every sunny day, the sun would melt and it would run across the road way, and then every night I'd have to come salt that ice when it fills back up. So if you push it to the low side, drainage side, you don't have that problem. I do have a problem places like this. My biggest pet peeve in places like this run off ice is uh, the residents themselves are bloody lazy. And they won't, uh, half of them won't shovel their own damn drive. Because they'll complain about us, like, not showing up within 10 minutes of fucking snow coming down. But the same people won't shovel their own damn driveways. 
and then those little driveways that they're supposed to be doing are, they end up melting down and running out with a load freezing back up after a couple days of it you end up with like an inch tall ice dam at the end of every fucking driveway that hasn't been done so I'm swearing on about it it aggravates the hell out of me because then I gotta come try to do something about it before somebody gets hurt or whatever in the parking lot but I mean at the same time I take a lot of pictures so I can if somebody does I can put it right on the motor because it ain't my fucking fault they're lazy you know what I mean we show up we do our job else involved and doesn't seem to want to do that. Welcome to the city. Seems to be the norm around here. Let's do as little as fucking possible and then complain at everybody else about it. Blame everybody else for when it goes wrong. It's like really annoying. So as you can see it just pushed all those spots up and just cheated a bit. Sometimes I pull them out and take them to the pile, a place like this, so like, I'm kind of tight for snowstorm space and whatnot. I'll shove it all forward, especially somewhere like this where there's room to do that. So like there's a building or something there that you don't want to pile snow beside. Just so shove it all there and then we're done. Just gonna drop salt. And away we go. I'll show you the view as we drive out. So you can see that we did a decent job of the place. I'd rate it uh, an 8 out of 10. Not perfect, perfect, but good enough for their money. Looks great for my house, you know? A bit of hard pack here, so I'm going to right dash while I scrape. Up here it usually doesn't, just because I don't know what it is. Get a lot of hard pack and shit. Salty, salty, go down. It is minus 14 Canadian, so Celsius. Okay, I didn't bury the end of their driveway. I don't understand. Um, so salt doesn't actually really work all that well in these temps. So, I am running pre wet. Uh, mag a magnesium calcium mix in a tank that's sprayed out onto my salt. As I salt to get it a little prettier. As you can see, for the most part it looks pretty good. A couple of chunks of snow here and there to fall off my blade as I was dropping it, but I expect that. If you get anal about those little things, will be here forever and not making any money. Well, that's how I do. And a quick lesson on uh, freehold condos.